I was just recently scrolling on Pinterest, my favorite place to be most of the time. And I came across a beautiful design, you know, a perfume design. And I just thought, why not just even recreate it in Canva? So I did it, it was successful. So in this video, what I'm simply going to do is to also teach you how, you know, you can make something similar within Canva. Everything is going to be done from scratch. So make sure you're following to the end. And before we even delve into Canva, first of all, please make sure you're subscribing if this is your first time or you want advanced Canva tutorials, make sure to subscribe. Without any further ado, let's dive straight into Canva. All right, so here we have a blank canvas, but let's start from scratch. We'll just start from here. And the first thing we're just going to do is to click on create. Okay. Once you click on create, I need you to search for the four by five, which is the Instagram post. So when you click on that, it should bring you here. Okay. So you can see I have a blank canvas. The first thing we're going to do is to change the background color. So just click on color and just set it to all black. Okay. Once you do that, what I want you to now do is to press L on your keyboard for a line. Okay, so we have this here. And we're just going to increase the line. You know, so just bring in a number of lines and we'll just do something simple. So I'll just put the first one maybe here. Let me just put it here. Then you just duplicate and rotate. Okay, so you're just going to be rotating and duplicating, you know, these lines. So we'll add a second line and I can bring it maybe somewhere here. Okay, and I can just bring this here. Then we can also duplicate this, bring it somewhere here, you know, somewhere like this. Then maybe we can duplicate it for the last time, bring it here. Okay, so this is what we have at the moment. Very easy and very simple. So you can just do something similar. You may not get, it doesn't necessarily have to be the same thing like mine. You know, just feel free and arrange it the way you want it to look like. Okay. Now, after we do that, we'll just come into element. Okay. So in element, we are simply going to search for light. Okay. So light line. So just search for light line and we should find something similar. So just come into graphics. You should see a lot of, you know, lines like that. So this is an example. Okay. So we can just bring this here and we'll just position it right on top of everything we have okay so just bring it here like this and i'll just place it directly on top so you can see what i am doing okay now just increase the size so it covers everything all right so this is what we have at the moment so we'll just duplicate and arrange them on everything we have if the line is too long all you just have to do is to duplicate and you know just make it extend so something like this you can see what we have then we'll just duplicate this one as well and we'll position this one here and you can see what we have so just do what i'm doing and i'm just going to speed up the entire process three weeks later so this is what we have at the moment and let's find a perfume so come back into element and search for perfume okay so perfume and we have so many perfumes in here but i think i want us to go into photos in photos there are so many perfumes we have in here there's um, a beautiful perfume we have but you can see it's transparent, right? We can see the lines behind and that's not the kind of perfume we are looking for, okay? So just take your time and scroll through. And so over here, we can see we have a number of perfumes in there. So all you need to do is to take your time and search for the kind of perfume you want, okay? So you can see we have one over here, which looks beautiful. So we'll just bring this here, you know, just something like this. And you can see the color is yellow. So I want us to apply the yellow color to these lights, okay? So choose any of the lights, come to edit, okay? Then come to adjust. In adjust, you're just going to play around with the temperature. So keep it warm, depending on the color you have, okay? You just have to play with the temperature and the tint, okay? So once we make them warm, it means that we are able to have warm colors. So this is what we have at the moment and i think it works very well so i'll right click copy style paste it right click copy style paste right click copy style paste so that we don't have to redo for every other line okay we just copy the styles and paste it on all the other lines and you can see how this is looking i really really love how things are looking right now now what we are going to do next is that we want to apply a shadow so duplicate this okay and rotate it 
So rotate it to 180 degrees. That's what we have at the moment. Then come to apps. Okay, over here, come to apps and search for image blend. Okay, image blender. I think image blender, I've forgotten the name, but yeah, this is what we are looking for. Image blender. This is the very one. Click on it and it should load for you. When I finish loading, or when you see what I'm seeing, click on linear. Okay, and you see how things are looking right now. So what we're going to do is to swap you know the position of these dots so i bring this one to the bottom and this one to the top okay and the line should be perfect okay so that's what we have at the moment and we're just going to you know keep this here something like this okay then we click on save so once you click on save you can just bring this over here okay then we can reduce the size to something like this. So this is what we have at the moment. So you can even just crop it, bring it here, send it behind the first one. Okay, so right click, come to layer, and we'll do send to back so that this is how things are looking. Okay, and if it's looking too strong, you can always come here and reduce, you know, how things are looking. So this is what I have at the moment. Okay, so. I like it. And if you don't like yours, just make sure you are tweaking things to make sure it looks good. Now, after we do that, let's come into element. Okay, go back into element. Then we'll search for smoke. Okay, so just type smoke and you should see so many smokes in there. Okay, so we have this type, which would, you know, we can just put in here. Then we can come to edit, adjust, and do the same thing we did for the lines. So we can just tweak it and we can see we've made uh, smoke yellow now let's add you know some extra smokes to create some dramatic you know um, features okay or some dramatic looks so we'll just come in here and just search for any white smoke at all okay so this is what i have and we are going to create something beautiful so right click copy style and we'll just click a nice one and that's what we have so with these extra smoked we are going to be placing them behind the lines. Okay, so we just arrange them as if they are coming out from the lines. Okay, then right click, come to layer and do show layers. Okay, then we just send it all the way to the back because that's where we want it to be. Nice. So we have this one and we'll just duplicate to add another one. And we are going to also do this one like this. Bring it here. We choose the size and send it all the way to the back. Okay. And then duplicate it. We can bring it here as well. Something like this. Nice one. Okay. And we'll also send it all the way to the back. Okay. So then we'll just reduce this one a little bit. You can see what we are doing and we'll also duplicate this and as we did we just duplicate it rotate it and just arrange it nicely and once you arrange it you just have to send it all the way to the wire to the back okay so that's what we have at the moment and i think it's actually looking good so let me reduce the size of this one instead you know let me reduce the size of this a little bit and position it here okay now the next thing we are going to do is to make duplicates of this okay so once you make a duplicate just duplicate it like five times okay so we can we have two three four five for the first one we'll just crop it you know something like this and you can just even increase the size more and crop it okay and what we are simply going to do is to place it on top of these lines and send it all the way to the back okay then we can also reduce the size Sorry, the transparency a little bit. Then with this size, we are just trying to showcase like certain features of the bottle. Okay, so that's all we are trying to do. So we'll also put this here. We'll also just bring this here and maybe rotate it like this, send it all the way to the back. Okay, then we can even just reduce the size you know, a little bit and just send it all the way to the back okay but there's also another option now another thing we can do is to maybe just showcase how things used to look like you know from here and you can also put this one here send it all the way to the back okay so we have okay then we can also do something similar over here just like this okay then we'll just rotate it more bring it here send it all the way to the back okay and just rotate it nicely and the last one the last one we can just maybe leave it here and send it all the way to the back and we can add one more smoke okay so we just add a smoke we'll take the smoke to 180 as we have over here then we we'll just bring it here 
you can see what we've been able to create. So now that we've done this, I think this is looking very, very beautiful. Okay. Now that we've done this, we'll just add our text. See on the keyboard. Okay. And the text I'm using, the font I'm using is called the Expoa Sharif. Oh, sorry, not Sharif. Serif. And we can see timeless. Okay. So timeless elegance. Okay. So elegance. And we can just have the, this text here. And uh, if you're on the free version of Canva, maybe this text, I don't know if it will be available for you, but just find any serif font. Okay. Then the second one, I'm going to use the Avenir, the Avenir um, text. And I'll just say collection. Okay. Then I will click on the upper case and we'll just bring it below okay it's because we just want to let people know that hey this is a classic brand and it's something you should be getting so this is what we have been able to get i think this was very beautiful to create you know very challenging but it's easy you know it looks very difficult but it's always like easy to create i want to just tweak this a little bit so i'll just bring this here and crop it nice one and this is what we have at the moment let me know what you think about this design in the comment section below it is how things are looking i think it's actually beautiful i really like it so one more thing i would want us to do is to drop everything below because there's too much space in here okay so i will select everything and just drop it more yeah so that we have things looking like this and maybe I'll just increase the size of this and bring it here and bring this in here. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like it. I like it. What do you think about it? Let me know what you, you know you think about this in the comment section below. And I also just hope you found this tutorial helpful. Just in case, you know, you're on the free version of Canva and you want to be able to try Canva Pro for free, make sure you check in the, you know, the links I have in my description. You should be able to, you know, subscribe or try Canva Pro for free. All right. The name is Benjamin. Always remember there is no limit to creativity and I should see you in the next one. Peace.